Hi everyone, it's Hatsi and I'm back with another speed edit and a create a sim in The Sims 4. So this time we are going to be trying out a new series and this is probably going to be like every Monday. So we've got like women around the world Wednesdays, this on Mondays, and then I'm thinking like two builds within the week and then like stories and other stuff. Like I have so many ideas, but I've been like into daily videos recently. I love it. I'm addicted. <laughs> I don't have the internet for it and I'm uploading every single video on a 3G stick, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> but this series is going to be dogs that look like their owners. So I have a bit of a fascination with this and I mentioned this I think like a few videos ago and I didn't know like what I was really gonna do for it, but then I had this idea why don't I just like create a sim or like create the dog first and then create the sim around the dog and like try and make them look similar-ish because I actually think that psychologically, is, is that the word? Um, I think that you're more prone to like dog breeds that appear as you do or like you can see features of yourself in. Now people may disagree with this a lot and there will be people that disagree with me and that's fine but personally it's really weird but like my dogs I think look like me it's <laughs> it's really weird like if i ever needed a wig or like a fringe or something my dog's got like very long hair like me and our hair if you put it together it looks exactly the same <laughs> not saying i'd ever need a wig or a fringe but i'm just saying like well she has had her first shave now but in the past like you used to just merge your hair together you could plait it and it would look like the same hair it's really weird <laughs> not that you would but hey if you ever wanted to you could do that. And going on to another thing. So my parents used to know these people. In fact, they're still friends of the family. Um, they're really lovely actually, <laughs> besides the point. So they had like very pointy, sharp features, both of them. So the man and the wife did, sorry, husband and wife. Um, and they were like quite small and they had dash hands, which had like very pointy features and they were also small. <laughs> It's just funny. I don't know. It's just crazy, isn't it? And then like, I remember this one time I saw this man and he had really white curly afro hair and he was like very old. And then you saw him walking this like very curly haired dog, like white, bright white curly hair, looking very old as well. It was brilliant. I just, I love that stuff. <laughs> it's amazing. So that's the idea of this series. I know it's a weird one, but like if I was to ever see somebody in public that looked like their dog or the dog looked like the owner, I would have to just stop and watch. I'm sorry, but I would. Like I'm not even ashamed. It's just amazing. So yeah, this series is not supposed to be offensive. I am aware that in some way, shape or form, somebody somewhere will be getting very offended at me right now. <laughs> yes. The offended police will be out, but it doesn't matter because I'm having fun and I don't mean any offense by it. And I just like went with whatever sim it really landed on and I just like rearranged the features to look quite cute, like a Yorkshire Terrier because that's the breed that we're doing this time. That's the idea. So she's supposed to be like quite cute looking and like big eyes, um, like cute features. That's really it, like a rounder face, long hair. And I actually don't think that the Yorkshire Terriers in The Sims 4 look as real as normal Yorkshire Terriers. <laughs> well, of course they don't because The Sims 4. But you know what I mean. You probably don't know what I mean. But if you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. Anyway, so on to the speed edit. Now, something crazy that's been happening recently is I've had a lot of messages about programs that I use, which is wonderful. And I'm very open with the programs that I use because I use two. I use uh, one for recording, one for editing, and that's it. That's all you really need for YouTube. Um, but then, of course, if you're gonna do thumbnails and stuff, then you need one for thumbnails. <laughs> I use Photoshop for thumbnails. I use Adobe Premiere Pro for editing and for recording, which is the most important thing, like, to be honest, like recording the footage of your gameplay and stuff like that. I use Action. And I've been really open with it because I've used Action from the very start of me ever doing YouTube. It is, in my opinion, the best recording software out there. And um, I'm just like really open about what I use because like I will promote the stuff that I love. But the only issue is you have to pay for it. And um, I bought my license, like it's pretty expensive, I think, like if you're gonna 
pay for it yourself because it's very high quality and it's like really easy to use because all you do is you literally press a big red button and it starts <laughs> and you have all your footage like recorded and it doesn't go anywhere and it's really good see anyway really weird because this isn't sponsored but at the same time like it's crazy because action reached out to me so i got an email a couple of days ago off action and they were like hey we really love your channel and like we we're wondering if you wanted to do an action giveaway and I was just like are you kidding I would love to do an action giveaway because I am like your biggest supporter <laughs> I am your biggest fan I have used you for like the last two years you have set up my YouTube channel pretty much so anyway they want me to do like a giveaway and give away three codes and I'm just really happy to do that so that basically means that you get a free lifetime supply of action so you never have to pay for it and that's it like you can get it for free so if you want like the best recording software for recording videos in my opinion the easiest ones to use much easier than obs in my opinion much easier than anything else i know that obs is free but like when i've used obs in the past i mean it's, it's good like it's okay but from my experience it just the graphics on like you, you just you can't match them you just can't like I've recorded videos in OBS and you can clearly see the difference like when I've recorded in OBS it's whenever I visit EA um, because they don't have action there, which is really sad because I don't get to press my big red button I personally think that if you look at the videos that I've recorded at EA like for example like the um the house the mansion that I did with um Steph and I did the city living apartment things like that you can see the difference um, so yeah, if you're interested in the giveaway, because I'm giving out three codes, I'm so excited. This is my first ever giveaway. This is important. Um, you have to be following me on Twitter because I need to contact you. And um, just leave me a message below, just like telling me that you're, like, you're interested in it or like um, maybe you've just started your YouTube channel and you're looking for a good recording software or you haven't started yet, but you're looking for one in the future. Just like a little message, Twitter handle, Remember to follow me on Twitter and then I will reach out to you and I will give you a message and then you'll get your free lifetime supply of action. It's gonna be good. You're gonna thank me <laughs> and you're gonna thank action because it's amazing. It's so good, honestly. But yeah, Twitter, follow me over there anyway, like even if you're not interested because I've started being like a lot more active and honestly, some really weird stuff's happened this week. So this happened. <laughs> um, I did a podcast with one of my best friends yesterday, Kayla, and um, we were just talking about like bad rumors that have been going round about us. In fact, I don't think that any have been going round about Kayla. I genuinely think it was just me. But I had a really bad one spread at school when I was younger. And it's one of those things that like now I mention it, it's funny, but it's actually scarred me for years. Like I didn't even want to speak about it because I genuinely thought people get a bad impression of me. But now, like 23 years old <laughs> I'm starting to see the funny side of it but it's taken a very long time like it's taken me years so long story short I dated this guy I say dated I was 14 and it was the month that I joined school and we we're only going out for a month so this was like before anybody knew me this was the whole mistake because like I already had a name for myself being a 14 year old when I got to this school because I inverted commas dated this guy. And after we split up after a month, nobody like really wanted to be friends with me after that because I was kind of known as the girl that XYZ broke up with, you know? So um, anyway, he couldn't really think of a good reason why he wanted to end the relationship. And it was actually because his best friend convinced him to, like that was, that was it, like that's what happened. But yeah, so he was very immature, like we all were. I don't even know if he'd be like this now, like I have no idea. But instead of just being, you know, a nice person and saying, yeah, like it's just not working out, etc., etc., he made up this like really elaborate rumor that I tried to kill him. <laughs> and this is where I get demonetized. No, but this was sad because like it got to the point where every time I tried to confront him about it, he'd just like walk off and stuff like that's the long story short you can find out more on the podcast if you want to which i'll link below last night i had the shock of my life because kayla wanted to see what he looked like so i went back onto facebook and i was finding his profile and you never guess what he does now now bear in mind i'm not friends with him because <laughs> it's gonna be so awkward if i add him i'm not gonna add him okay wait for it he is a funeral director <laughs> no so <laughs> 
let's just put this into context here. The guy that said I tried to kill him is now a funeral director. This is mad, I'm sorry. There's just something very poetic about this. It's like it was meant to be, I don't know. It's just really weird how that's happened. And um, I couldn't breathe all last night. See, I tweeted about it today because I like to share updates. <laughs> Follow for more updates. No, it was weird. I was not expecting that. That gave me a shock. So yeah, that's what I've been doing today. Just generally shocked. And that's it. <laughs> So back to the speed edit. I tried to make it look a little bit cartoony because I'm gonna have a different style every single speed edit pretty much. You know, there'll be times when I want to make The Sims look as accurate to real life as I can. And there'll be other times when I just wanna cartoonize them a bit and just make them a bit mad. I think she does look a bit mad. <laughs> just with all her hair, like chunky hair. I like that though. I think my hair's quite chunky, it used to be. But I'm not gonna go back to this. I always go back to this. Every speed edit video, I always mention my hair. Remind me not to next time. <laughs> um, but I don't know if I said, but if you do have ideas for the next dog breed to touch on for the next one, let me know. It's just different, you know? I think I'm gonna enjoy it. So what I was trying to do is I was trying to make the dog look a little bit more like a Yorkshire Terrier. All Yorkshire Terriers are gonna look different as well. I mean, like, they all have different haircuts and things like that. Like some people prefer them shorter, some people prefer them longer. I kind of like them a bit in between, I think. I do like them with, you know, a little bit of hair. <laughs> I saw a really cute one once and it was the size of my palm. This lady, like her dog was so small, they actually just let her just take it into the shopping center and go shopping with it. Like she would just carry around, which was amazing. Like, I don't really see, if I'm honest, why dogs can't go into shopping centers. As long as you're carrying them or something. I mean, I get allergies, but I think Yorkshire Terriers are hypoallergenic and stuff like that. It's not like they smell or anything. And I genuinely think, you know, sometimes you get like people that smell, that smell more than dogs. I'm sorry, but you do. They're not banned from food markets. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I'm just like a massive dog advocate. That is my issue. So I just believe that dogs should go everywhere. You know, maybe, okay, maybe not in like the food aisles in case they do take anything because they don't know not to. But then again, though, I have seen in the past kids do that. That annoys me. You know, when people take kids shopping and then the kids will just be reaching for the food and then they'll be like touching it and stuff. I think I've mentioned this before, but this one time a while ago, this is why I stopped going to Pizza Hut. <laughs> this is the tale. So me, my mum and my friend from school, we all went, there was three of us and uh, I didn't realise, but my friend was a toucher, which is the definition of someone, I've made it up, <laughs> it's the definition of someone that goes around and just touches things. And that annoys me because they were touching like all the items on the salad bar. No, like you can't do that, I'm sorry. You cannot go to Pizza Hut and start touching the salad bar. You just can't do it, there's just rules. I mean, surely, you can't. It's just, <laughs> it's the unwritten rule of Pizza Hut, you can't do it, everyone knows. So yeah, they were just like picking up all the salad leaves and stuff. Yeah, I never went out with them again and I never went back to Pizza Hut. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry if like you had the salad after. I mean, what can you do, you know? My mum was just, oh, like her face was a picture. So that happened. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm not a toucher. No, I don't think I've ever been. I think like even at a young age, I can remember my parents just like telling me off, which is like, you know, doing things that are inappropriate. We'd be like, stop it. <laughs> but that's good though. That's what you need, I think. Just like someone to tell you like, hey, don't touch the salad bar. Or well, don't touch the ice cream machine, you know, stuff like that. But no one can tell dogs. That's the issue. So maybe that's why, I don't know. I don't get it. Um, but I love taking my dogs into restaurants. But that happens very rarely now. Because England is very strict on that. But what can you do? There are a few places though that you can take them. And it's really funny because then like you'll go into those places and you'll see. Like <laughs> it's like a... 10 to 1 population ratio from like dogs to humans, it's mad. It's because like they're all crammed in there because like everybody knows 
and then like all the farmers go there with all the dogs is brilliant it's so good it's like a dog a dog cafe but it's not at the same time anyway that is the end of it so i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see all future ones thanks for watching and i'll speak to you all soon